appears to be a growing tension in the U.S. toward police. We did some research on the apparent spike and found some surprising information. Our Maria Garcia went to local law enforcement for perspective you'll see only on ABC7. Maria's live with our top story. Maria. killed by this time last year in the U.S. But there is no question, there is a growing concern and conversation about policing and the use of force from and toward police. This is what democracy looks like! We're the ones actually blocking traffic. We're the ones making sure that the other people aren't assaulting them as they have their freedom of speech to go out there and rant and rave about law enforcement. President of the local police union, Ron Martin, says police officers are imperfect, but they do protect communities. Or basically that thin blue line that keeps a criminal element from overtaking society. On social media, though, and on the streets of some neighborhoods, chants against police using what appears to be excessive force. You know, there is an amped up public rhetoric yeah. regarding law enforcement, of course, and uh, I think that rhetoric is kind of a subset of amped up rhetoric regarding racism in this country. Martin says public perception of law enforcement changes with current events and media coverage. The difference he sees now is the immediate spread of shooting videos, often without context. You see a three second clip of a video, and then you have thousands of people out there being stupid. You know, oh, we're gonna, we should go kill police officers. If a confrontation involves use of deadly force, there's a lot going through an officer's mind. You cannot exclude fear from the list of things that they're feeling at that moment. That officer in Illinois was the eighth law enforcement officer shot and killed in the U.S. in the last month. But year to year, it's still lower than last year. Back to you, Rick. Maria, thank you very much. We should mention the union's attorney said he couldn't comment on an El Paso police case where an autopsy recently revealed a man was shot in the back by police but he was reportedly who reported he was charging at them.